what is target CPA bidding in Google Ads? So target CPA is an automated bidding strategy that allows you to get as many conversions as possible for a given CPA. Now, in this video, I want to be covering what is a target CPA bidding strategy. I want to tell you how you can use it to boost your campaign's conversions. And I'm also going to be telling you how to avoid key mistakes that a lot of people use or do when they're implementing a target CPA bidding strategy. Now, just to recap, a CPA is cost per, cost per action. So what it means that, hey, if I'm spending 50 pounds and I'm getting one conversion, then your cost per action is 50 pounds. If I'm spending 100 pounds or 100 dollars and getting two conversions, then 50 divided by, sorry, 100 divided by two is 50 dollars. So my cost per action is $50 in this case, as opposed to $100. So one thing to keep in mind is that in July 2022, Google did rename the target CPA bidding strategy as maximize conversions bidding strategy. And within the maximize conversions bid strategy, there's a setting called target CPA. So if you want to learn more about what Google is, what Google Ads is, how it works and everything else, then what I suggest you do is just subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button, because every week I produce new videos about how you can get more value for your money by using Google Ads and get Google Ads really work for you to drive up those sales and reduce your costs as much as possible. So what is Target CPA? Another way of saying Target CPA is, it's like Google saying to you, tell me the cost you're willing to pay per customer and I'll do all the heavy lifting. So you're telling Google that, hey, look, I want to spend $20 and for every $20 I spend, I want to get one customer. Or every $30 I spend, I want to get one customer or I want to get one more conversions or phone calls, right, or leads and so on. And then Google does all that in the background. Now, what, what, what you can do with uh, a target CPA bidding strategy, which is now maximize conversions, you can set it at ad group level and at campaign level. So this is something that Google introduced really well because you can go a bit more granular. It's one of my favorite bidding strategies because it can manage your ads around the clock and you know that what you're typically, typically going to be paying for every lead that you, got, that you get. So what, I've, what I'll do first is I'll set, I'll show you very quickly on screen on how to target CPA bidding strategy. So as you can see from this account, we've got campaigns here and then over here you can see your target CPA. So for this first ad group here, this is ad group level, you can see that my conversions the last 30, 13 days were £13.50. So we've set this target CPA to 13 and the others are set to 10 and they've got one there which is uh, set to a different target CPA. So this is an ad group level and then we go back to campaign level and you can see that every single campaign has got a different target CPA set uh, according to their budget and according to their current CPA. So I will tell you how to work out what your target CPA should be. And in order to set your, your target CPA, what you do is you go inside your campaign and then you click on campaign settings at the top here. And then you'll see under bidding, you see maximize conversion. So in brackets, it'll tell you what the, what the current amount is. So what you can do, you can click on that and you can type in your target CPA in here. If you want to disable your target CPA within your maximize conversion bid strategy, you simply un untick this and then you click on the save button. So when should you use a target CPA bidding strategy or now as it's called maximize conversion bidding strategy? First rule is you must have enough data. So you must have at least 30 days worth of data and a reasonable number of conversions, ideally five to 10 conversions. So then you've got some data to work with. You might find that, hey, in the last 30 days, I've spent $500 and I've got five conversions or I've spent $500 and I've got 20 conversions and so on. So what you do is you divide 500 
by the number of conversions that you that you've got which gives you your target your current cpa now if for example your current cpa or your cost per action is a hundred dollars then if you haven't got a target CPA set, then I would set it to $100 to start with and then let it run for two to three weeks before you adjust it because the, you want the algorithm to get used to your conversions. And then what you do then is you analyze the data, again, look at the last 30 days, and then you can make adjustments. Now, we all want conversions as for as little price as possible. The biggest mistake people do is that they just dream of a... A, of a cost per conversion as CPA, you can't do that. It's got to be a data driven approach. So you've got to look at your data and base your CPA based on the last 30 days of data. Because I could easily say, hey, I want to get leads at $5 per lead. Google's not gonna get me that because all that's gonna happen is that if I reduce it too much, your impression share will drop. In other words, your ads aren't going to be shown. And then you're gonna be wondering, hey, I'm getting no conversions at all now. But if you've got some data and you know that, okay, currently my CPA is around about $100 per lead or $20 per lead or $5 per lead, whatever it is, what you should do is reduce it by between 10 and 15% maximum. Okay, so if it's $10 per lead, then deduct, so let's say 10% from that. So in other words, that what you should do then, you should set your target CPA at $9 and then let that run for a bit or even 15% if you want to, but 15 should be the absolute uh, maximum because what you don't want to do, you don't want to destroy the algorithm because it's already got its learning in place. It already knows what's working. So if you make too many changes, or make a change too heavily, you'll just go back into bid learning mode and you don't want to do that. You want to keep Google as sweet as possible and just take it step at a time, be patient and just let it run. Now, what do you do if you've already got a campaign and it's not using maximized conversions, but you want to switch it over to a maximized conversions bid strategy? What you should do is firstly, look at what your current cost per acquisition is or cost per ac action is. And then one choice you've got is either make that into your current CPA. So if you're currently converting at $60, you can set it to $60. Or sometimes what I do is I just leave it blank because I let the algorithm relearn. Uh, and then once it's relearned, then you can start making your adjustments after a period of two to three weeks, let it run, and then you can set a, a target CPA. Now, again, it's a brilliant strategy to use, but make sure you use a data-driven approach. Don't, don't, don't dream of a cost per action, otherwise you just blow out the algorithm and your impression share is gonna fall and you're gonna be wondering, why am I not getting enough conversions? What you could do is, if you do the other way around, your, your impression share will, go, will increase, which means that you'll be getting your your leads or your conversions at a higher cost per action, you, but you need to look at your conversion rate. So you, you don't want to blow out your conversion rate either. So it's always finding that right balance, that right sweet spot. And do keep amending it. Do keep, do keep looking at it, reviewing it, analyzing it, and then taking action. Don't just set it and walk away. You can't do that. And what I said earlier, remember, is you set it at campaign level and at ad group level. If you're a complete beginner, then I'd say that just leave it at campaign level. Uh, don't set it at ad group level as well. Uh, but if you're a lot more advanced or experienced, then you can set it at both levels. Guys, if you like this sort of video, do hit that subscribe button. Let me know what is your favorite bidding strategy? What, what works for you? Have you used a target CPA or maximize conversion bid strategy? And if so, how has it worked for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to learn more about Google Ads, check out this video. It goes into a lot more detail about getting maximized conversions using Google Ads. Take care. I look forward to seeing you on another video. Goodbye for now.